That is a win. Oh, cow. <laughs> what time is it? 8.32. That's, that's 8.32 in the morning. You got blood rushing yeah, your head. Oh, yeah. It looks like Tons of it. you look a little red. Tons of it. <laughs> all right everybody welcome back to another video here at gulch's off-road park her orv park um if you've been tuning into the last couple of videos you know that this place is just amazing it is one of, some of the funnest that we've ever had although it is extremely expensive um so far i think just this climb here that we just did which is papa gulch um, I think Tim is down about 700 bucks for front axle and uh, Cherry was down a front axle and a rear so that's about 950 bucks so that was an expensive climb. Um, so I just want to say thank you guys for all of your support and all of you guys watching these videos, watching the ads that we run, the channel members, the patrons and the sponsors, um, all of that makes this hurt a little bit less. So uh, we really enjoy filming. The braking, not so much, but it comes with the territory of hitting stuff like this. So, I just want to say thank you for helping us out here. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to get this axle fixed. Um, luckily, that axle is still under warranty. So, shout out to Cobra and shout out to Turner for having awesome warranties. We thank you guys too. Because... Uh, Warranties are awesome when you're breaking parts. Um, it's a bummer that, you know, we have to break parts and they are warrantied, obviously. You know, it costs them money, but uh, costs a lot of money all the way around. So, um, we're going to finish this. We're going to go out and we're going to see what else we can find for you. And uh, I think it's going to be maybe the last video. I don't know if we'll have one more because we've hit a lot of the stuff here. I think we're just going to ride around and see if we can find some cool obstacles to hit. So we're running out of stuff to hit here. So if you're going to come here, I would suggest a full weekend. We got here Thursday. We rode a little bit Thursday, Friday, today, Saturday. And um, I would say a two to three day weekend. If you're running around hitting stuff pretty quick, you could, you could cover the whole park. Um, and obviously downtime for filming and fixing parts. So we're gonna get this axle here fixed. We're gonna head out on the trail. We're gonna see what else we can find you for today. All right, Jesse's gonna try the infamous 3D here at Gulch's. He's, he's at least gonna fill it out. I'm not gonna say he's gonna try it. He's, he's definitely gonna fill it out. And usually he's filling it out he usually goes for it, so let's see what happens.
afraid to carry my front tires too far and right. I think that's what's gonna happen. Yes. I need the front end to come down and I don't know that it's going to. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it one or two more times and then probably be done.
paint up there from mine. About to be some orange paint. technique. Sherry fell in. Let's see how far he can go. No problem. Uh, hey, sweet. Okay, we found a trail called Baby Gulch. So we're going to run up that. Just looks like a little off-camber trail. If you're okay with scratching your machine and making it look like this, then this is the place you want to come. <laughs> we're going to go over here and look at uh, Rebel Boulevard to see if it's something that we're able to do in side by side. We'll be back with you. Once we go through, we have to put the caution tape back up. 
so it must be pretty serious. Um, we're gonna get through this caution tape and go hit this trail. Um, and I don't know, it's about to get real, I think. send it wow. yeah wow that didn't sound good we gotta go assess I think he broke okay well all four tires are spinning it made a weird noise, but uh, drive shaft looks good. Tires are spinning, so I'm not sure what it was. We're gonna keep pushing on. Um, I think we're about a quarter of the way through this trail so far, not bad. That was pretty rough, but uh, nothing that we couldn't handle so far. So from what I hear about three quarters of the way through, there's a nasty rock section and they've had issues with people going off property trying to find a bypass. And they just, they said, please do not do that. Um, Cause this I think is shared land or they have the ability to use this land I don't know necessarily know if it's theirs so they'd like to keep it that way so if you do this trail make sure you get permission and make sure you stay on the actual trail hopefully we can distinguish what the actual trail is but I think we're ready to rock and roll
should say this mud is extremely weird and shiny it's got like metal flake in it you can see on my tire looks like metal flake looks like gold all through it crazy looking I think we'll get out and film here this is where they said we couldn't go right they said the, the bypass they're, tr they're trying to keep that not doable or something because of it's not their property or something they said that would go this way looks rough this is the spot we're coming up next obviously I think we're gonna go this way rather than trying to go over that six foot boulder so I don't really don't think we'll have much of an issue going up over here we'll come left go up over I don't know that we'll be able to it's like a three four foot undercut right there I don't know that we'll be able to bump that but we'll come up through here we're parked right there so far not too bad I think if you just roll through it, you're good. You you will just just stay pointed that way and bump through a whole way. Straighten up. Okay, 
you turn hard that way. does he has uh, the RC model it has the like the UHMW ultra high molecular I don't know what it is but it's good material to allow slippage yep, yep. he drug on the slider too and it, it just he drug on that slider too but it didn't hang him up nice job all right, Tim's up. I'm at the I'm at the very top. I'll get him coming up. He said he's gonna try to maybe come in wide, hug this side, and get his tires up here. So him and Sherry are the same width, um, same wheels, same rock sliders, and everything like that. So he doesn't want to get hung up here. I will say our brakes have been squeaky this trip. Yes. Mine usually aren't, and they are now. Mine usually aren't. You're wet. Yeah, you're wedged into a rock. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna run into the same problem with Sherry. Yeah, I came back up. I don't. Wait. You can try. Just same yeah. way you're pointed. I'm just gonna say he has to turn driver. You're you're on it. Your only your only hope is if you can get this front tire up on this rock to lift that up over that rock, and you can try it again, or you're gonna have to winch. You're in a bad spot. Yeah. If you back up driver, I'm not saying it'll work, but it might lift it up enough to get you up over that rock. No. Wait, but maybe, maybe. I don't know. I, them tires aren't wanting to spin. Try to... Try to just bump it straight forward. Maybe we can come out around it or something. Ooh, it was, I think it was starting to climb this. Yeah. Back up, or back up passenger. Okay, now go straight. You're worse off. Give it a good bump, see if you can go up. There it is. Nice driving, Tim. Nice driving. Yeah, you just, you have to get high enough. You have enough. to have a little bit of momentum to yeah. get, once you get that up over there, the, the tire will climb that. Yeah. Yeah, he bumped it straight far enough to get up over that rock with his um, rock slider, and then he just turned it. All right, nice driving. Trail 56, two way. There's a couple cool lines. Um, the left one's like a four foot tall vertical ledge. I'll pull up on it. Doubt I'll be able to do anything with it. But I might be able to figure out something on these other lines.
didn't think I was gonna make it. That front end held up. If you watch the other videos uh, before this one, you know that it's the, uh, we'll say experimental diff that we're, we're playing with. Um, I'm the only one that has it. Okay, you're good to go. Huh? You're good. I was talking to myself. Do you think there's any chance of getting over that rock? Yeah, I think you can actually straddle that rock. Okay. I didn't know what the, what the dip behind it. Yeah, I think once you get past it, you'll probably start catching those rocks. Scott and I um, designed um, just like the smart spool uh, all new design completely different it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, a game changer for for the entire can-am industry it's it's gonna be epic and it is extremely strong I've landed on throttle a lot throughout this video series and it's taking everything and as you know we like to keep things uh, cost-effective for the end user so it's going to be affordable. It's going to be probably more affordable than the smart spool. So stay tuned. It's going to be epic. All right, Scott's going to pick a different line over here. He's going to hit this. Um, I mean, it's pretty vertical. I'd say two, two and a half feet. We'll see compared to his tires. 32, 32 inch tall tires. I'd say it's every bit of three feet then. His skid plate's dangling in the back. We'll have to zip tie that up. You see it hanging? <laughs> yeah, the zip ties keep breaking. All right, Squeaky McGee's up next. <laughs> Walked yeah, it. Uh, nice job, Tim. That's what my suspension is supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Scott is, uh, his suspension has seen better nice. days. <laughs> okay, so at the Gulches, they have this uh, suspension flex machine. Uh, just for fun, we want to see the difference between our machines. Sherry's going to drive mine so I can um, film. But, I'll have to do yeah, don't. Well, I guess. I mean, if you're going to flip it, flip it. 64-inch <laughs> machine, front limit straps, shock therapy springs, stock QS3 shocks, sway bar in the rear. Good idea. Yeah, I, just to see. Yeah. So we'll see how far she makes it. It's going to be a cool test, I think. Yeah, you're good. Okay, you can back down. I didn't think it would do it. That's cool. We'll pull Sherry and Scott up. Teetering. 
it it looks i mean she's staying pretty straight okay scott's is a 72 inch machine no sway bars limit straps front and rear 32 zills all the same tires ct upper lowers super atv trailing arms 72 inch machine with no sway bars versus ours be interesting to see wow that's it so you beat me in. yeah isn't that isn't that crazy your tires off the ground right now and you still have two feet to go yeah your front one's almost on the ground but we can handle more of an off camber setup than you can that's interesting yeah it's probably the sway bar the amount of the amount of flex that you have right now is incredible but that i don't know if that means anything if you're gonna roll it you know <laughs> Sherry's machine was almost staying straight. Yours is tilted as far as well, it. I bet if my rear sway bar was on there. I yeah. Would, if your rear sway bar was on, you'd probably come up just like we did. It would level it out some, I bet. Yeah. You want to see how far you can come before you flop? Sure. <laughs> For real? Your I tires, your passenger tires still touching the ground. What? Yeah. Yeah, it is touching. I can't see the end of the ring. Okay. That's about it. It's still your, the yeah, your other tires are still touching the ground. How is that possible? This tire's off about eight inches. That's nuts. What's happening? Our front tire is almost on the ground. Oh, no, it is. It's touching. It's touching. Yeah, your tire's touching. You want to get out? Put it in park and look at it. You gotta look at it. I'll see it on the video. Okay. That's insane. Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that you can make it to the end of the ramp without flopping. But that's pretty crazy. That's this like this setup here is the only way we could actually see this. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> It's been a few hours since the last time I was on camera. Scott has left. Uh, he decided to leave uh, a few hours early today to have less of a drive tomorrow. It's about a 10 hour drive, maybe a little bit longer with fuel stops, but he pulled out a little bit ago. He's gonna drive part way home tonight. Um, myself and uh, Tim, we're just gonna stay here till the morning. It's about 10 or 11 hours for us. Uh, I think it's about six or seven for Tim. So we're going to end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know it was some of the best riding that we have ever done. Uh, everything that we liked to ride was here. We broke a lot of parts, unfortunately. Lots of flops, lots of rollovers, but a lot of fun. So the machines definitely need some love. Sherry got her new door right here. Um, the wrap held up pretty good but the uh, door did not. So if it did that to that door, I could only imagine what it would have done to uh, the stock door. Um, mine is, is holding it together pretty good. Um, the, uh, the new front diff that we have in there has been spectacular. You can expect to see that on the website very soon. When we release that, we will release a video explaining everything about it. Um, definitely want to watch for that upcoming not sure when but it's coming um tim's held together pretty good uh one flop i think this weekend one broken axle a couple flops i didn't break any axles sherry broke an axle will broke an axle um scott broke a drive shaft hey i'm the only one that did break this weekend but that could be because of the level three rear axles are going to be really hard to break. And the front axles I have in here um, probably aren't going to break either. So, all in all, awesome weekend. Machines need some love. I did rip that backwards. Missing a lot of paint. This place, you're, you're either on your left side or your right side. Or your top side. But 
but uh, we're signing off here. Thank you all for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting on all of our videos. You guys make all of this stuff worthwhile. Um, seeing the comments and seeing the views and seeing a subscriber count is just awesome. Uh, help us get to 20,000 subscribers this year by clicking that little box thing if you're watching this there's like a little box down in the bottom corner all you have to do is hit that turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we put videos out and uh check our website out that's the best way to help support us um stickers a couple bucks there's t-shirts hoodies uh, you can get our j star exhaust that we run on our website right here this things sound amazing you can get these cobra level three axles on there you can get turner axles you can get navigation tablets those navigation tablets they're just awesome i think we have we've fine-tuned our navigation tablets they're very user friendly they have a ton of trail systems on them satellite background makes it really easy to navigate um, so definitely want to check that website out it's right here you can check it out and um We'll see you in a few days with another video, maybe a build video. I know we're working on a few builds in amongst these riding videos too, so we'll see you in a couple days. Thanks for tuning in.